So now we're in the shade garden of the Hammond Research Station, and as the name suggests, the shade garden is where we do most of our shady bedding plant trials. The shade garden is about an acre in total area, so it's the smallest of all the gardens here, of our five plus gardens at the Hammond Research Station, but it is one of the greatest gardens because it has so much color, and something that we're really striving for, and that we don't have so much of in Louisiana, is these really bright, vivid colors for bedding plants in shady areas. So speaking of that, I want to show you one of our top performers in the shade garden this year are Beacon Impatience by Pan Am Seed. Uh, we have six different colors of Beacon Impatience that are trialing and these were planted just a couple months ago and they're doing fantastic. They get about six hours of shade a day, so quite a bit of shade, and you can really see how these colors pop against the green foliage. We really like the white. It gives you that strong pop of white color against the dark green, as well as we can see here with the rose. There's really bright colors, really bright contrast. So another plant I want to talk to you right now is uh, the Shangri-La philodendron. And these we're really excited about. They're growing very vigorously. They're growing in deep shade. As you can see, the shadier ones are even stronger growth. And what we're really excited about this is as you see it's in containers and container gardening is taking off all over the country uh, and most of the times container gardens being used in very sunny areas everyone has their highlighted areas but in Louisiana we have a lot of these live oaks and a lot of areas that you can't grow grass in, in full shade and so what we are highlighting here is potential to use some of these plants in containers in these shady areas where you can't grow a grass to really highlight and accentuate your space. This plant right here, Chasmanthium latifolium, otherwise known as inland sea oats, is a really unique characteristic th of plant that you can put in your shade garden. What these give, and actually you can see right now, is as the wind blows, they act as a little bit of a wind catcher and, they sh and you get a lot of movement in the garden, which is very unique and really accentuates what's going on. It accentuates nearby plants. So also from Pan Am Seed, we have the Super Elfin uh, Impatience. Uh, just a few colors that we have out here, bright orange and XP white. They're getting a little more sun than the Beacon Impatients. You see they don't have quite as vigorous of a growth, but still have that striking strong color. So moving on to some more Impatients we have, uh, these are the Amara XDRs from Syngenta. And we have quite a few different colors. And if you're noticing a trend of a lot of Impatients, it's because Impatients generally get a lot of disease problem here in our really wet, hot, humid uh, climate of Louisiana. But a lot of our companies around, and this goes with the Beacon Impatients and these XDRs, are improving these Impatient lines to be very resistant. So notice on all these Impatients that we've showed you today, there's no uh, hint of wilt or uh, leaf spot or anything. They're very clean, they're very healthy plants. These are also fantastic. These are getting about, uh, these are getting early morning sun and that is it. So about four hours of sun, four and a half hours, and that's quite it, and then a full shade in the afternoon. So here we have three new colors of New Guinea impatience uh, from Proven Winners. This is the Infinity series, and these are getting full morning sun uh, with shaded for the rest of the day. So with full morning sun, you're still getting this good growth, this really healthy growth, vibrant color. I really am a fan of the light purple, but all the colors are looking fantastic right now. What we have here is Lysisteria jealousy, and this plant we've actually had planted for about three years in our trials. You can see as it continues through our cold, our frost, it keeps growing. Again, this is getting morning sun uh, and fully shaded in the afternoons. You get this great lime green color with these fantastic uh, purple flowers that have a very unique shape to them and bring just an interesting texture to the garden. Something else we do in the shade garden, and this is mostly by Dr. Chen, is we have extensive caladium trials. So you can see some of these caladiums have been in the ground for two to three years, while some are new. We're getting new caladiums every single year to expand our trials. They do fantastic in the shade. Some do good in the sun. These are getting mostly morning sun with afternoon shade. And finally, we actually have quite a collection of Buddleia in our butterfly bush in the shade garden. Earlier you saw our collection of our Buddleia in the sun, which is generally where you think of planting your butterfly bush, but they do fantastic in the shade. You can still see the colors and the blooms show up very vividly. Uh, these get about partial shade every day. Uh, we're constantly visited by pollinators, butterflies, bees, and everything. Just absolutely love them.